guys, uh, Professor Kirk here again, reason 1B, let me adjust this camera, there we go, and we're going to look at arranging the song, so what I've done is I've gone down and got my um, end piece, the end locator, it was down here, so I actually clicked down here and brought it back, and then you click towards the where you want to go and bring it back into full screen. So then here is the song. It literally is um what 20 eh, it's 30 it's 33 bars. And for the first oh nine bars or so you have nothing to do but arrange it. There's nothing there. So I've grabbed my right locator, I put it here and my left locator is at bar one. If yours looks like this, when you first open it, make sure that you just collapse the drum lane. And what we're gonna do is play it from bar nine to show you what happens, so. So you got some things to arrange right here. B section. Add something there. Add something there. Slap bass. Good. So it's a total of 40 measures. Total of 40 measures, not 33. And the vibes at the end. And you can see all the tracks where the music is is being recorded and shown for you. So how do we how do we arrange this? Well, we have to make a decision. So we have to solo and mute, just like we did in the very first 1A. And we have to make a decision. So let's see. Let's solo the bass and see what happens. What, what do we have when we solo the bass? With the locator. With the space bar. Okay, that's the bass line. So sometimes people like to start with the bass, which is really nice. So here's the task. You want to learn how to copy, paste, and move. So I'm going to actually highlight this. I'm going to hit Control C. And you'll notice that the play bar goes at the end. And then I'm going to bring the play bar all the way back to where I want to actually paste it in. I'm going to hit Control V. And on that track, you can see that it copied that uh, I guess a two bar bass line. So now I have an intro of a bass. Let me hit the space bar. So the bass was really kind of nice little touch as an intro and you can see that two bar f phrases really work because at the, at nine bar the bass pattern starts again you can see the data how the their space and the bass part starts again let's say i wanted to also add something else like the strings so i can take the strings i can copy it so i highlight strings control c and then i'm going to bring it back to bar one once again the locators will copy everywhere in between so you want to make sure your locators are literally where you want to copy. That track is enabled. You can see it's red. And as soon as I actually let the computer know I want to copy and paste, it does it. So now I want to paste. And literally I have the strings and the bass playing.
good. So now I've got a bass, my intro, my A section, or my intro, I should say, is um, uh, from bar one to nine. That's my intro. I have bass and, and strings. Now, one of the other things that we learned in this program is to actually, um, we copied, but you can also do a move. So let's say I wanted to move something around. I didn't want it to be in that particular place. I wanted to say, let's say I wanted to move this this loop over here, I could actually grab part of the loop because you can see what happened when I just grabbed part of it and it literally put it in the space here where I'm supposed to compose something. Eventually you will be actually recording something in there but right now this is a copy, paste, and move kind of concept. So in that little space there I've created some sound and literally a part that gives it some a new sound. So here's the top. My intro. Bar nine. This is my A section. B. Good. So you can see what I did. All I did was move this from this place to here. Just highlight it and move it. That's the neat thing about Reason. You can once you record data like this has been done, you can actually move things around so that you can create uh, nuance and new sections without actually having to re-record things. Um, I also like to do this is add, uh, I can move the the, the actual uh, vibes here too and then I can copy it later and bring it back over, right? So you can bring the vibes there as well, that little ding, 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 so you'll see that. So let me just give it uh, play from where I started, not from where I started, from where um, the music comes in at the A section. This is my bed bridge or breakdown. So you can see now, I actually had a little overlap from that vibe part, right? Sorry about that. Um, so, so I created in that space where I'm having you create, you actually can move things around. So copy, paste, and move is the, is the order of the day here. All right, here's another section you want to create where there's, there's space here and you can have new nuance. So let's say um, I wanted to use this particular part in that area. Once again, I hot control C. And then between the locators, control V. And that takes care of that. So that's in that section. And let's see what it sounds like if I match it up with, say, um, this slap here, right? So um, well, let's see what it sounds like as it is. So we need something here too. So there's space here. There's a slap here. If you play this like a solo, right? Solo this bass part. Play the slap. Ah. Okay, so it happens here. So we want to create something in this area here. Could we move it? Sure we could. We could move it over. We could actually play a uh, copy and paste it, but we could move it. To this area here and maybe leave it on its own or control C and then control V so you'd have that sound so let's play it from this area here which is bar 15 
okay? So you can see the possibilities with arranged material. Once you record things like this yourself, you'll be able to copy, paste, and move. That's why the very first thing in this lesson, uh, well, lesson one is, is uh, lesson B, 1B is copy, paste, and move. Okay, so that's a really neat little thing here, and this is what we want you to do. You also want to change the tempo. So this is set at 123. Everybody's got their own beat, their own beat in their head, and so you can change the tempo, like to say to 100, and it makes it it makes it listenable for for some some of the concepts that you want to do. So let's take it from the top, a little slower, and that lives gives the listener time to hear everything you're saying with this arrangement. Slower tempo. My B section. Two Bs. I can do another B or B. Or I can repeat the melody again for another A section. We'll bring it to the end. Now we need something there. So you can see that right now you're actually just kind of an arranger for this particular song. There needs to be something here. So we can actually copy. Control C. And then bring over the locator. Bring over the locator here. And then we can do this. Control V. That takes care of that little area there. Uh, you can bring something else over from here. As I said, I want to maybe end like they did with the uh, vibes. So I can go control. I, I actually highlighted the synth 2 vibes. Control C. And then bring over the, the locator so it knows I want to copy there. And I'm copy here to the end. And I'm actually going to click here and go control V. And we can end this song in this manner. So we have from this area here, let's say bar 15. <laughs> the end so you can kind of see the the possibilities you have you have for this assignment essentially it's up to you tempo change the tempo you learned how to change sounds so you're free to do that if you wanted to change sounds in any of the devices you can do that you don't have to keep the same sounds as I showed your browse patch for all of the different sounds and then the reason factory sound bank Gives you um, device specific sounds, sounds for the subtractor patches, redrum drum kits, the actual um, uh, NN19, NN19 browse patch or, or patches, and then NN19 patches. Um, Dr. Octorex is a little different. We can, we'll work with that pretty soon. But pretty much 1B is self explanatory in that you're going to copy, paste, and move this song. Make sure you save it. Save it as you know, to your desktop, and then you're going to put your file name in front. Um, excuse me. In front of the file name, you're literally going to put your name in front, right? And then don't change the file name. And then save it to the desktop. 
so that you can actually send it to me in the remote uh, or save it to if you have version 11 you're going to send it to me um, through through canvas as well this is version 11 i'm working on now because it's so much easier for me to quickly to process as opposed to the remote okay um that should do it the how-to student guide tells you about copy paste and move it talks about um the things i just talked about but you can kind of see where you're going to be going with this particular exercise uh if you have any questions you know the question and answer thing is right there for you so have fun with this guys all right We'll talk to you soon.